Now next is evaluating relational expression. So first thing to note down in this is that all the relational operators they all have the same priority fine but they have lesser priority than any arithmetic operation as we can see in this table where they have been placed see these are your arithmetic operators and these are your relational operators so they will always be given a lower priority than arithmetic operators fine next point to be noted down is that the all the earth uh, relational operators they will give you the output in the form of boolean values that means in terms of true or false in terms of one and zero or yes or no let us consider one example here if p is 7 q is 2 and y is 9 then how to evaluate the value of this expression using the relational operators or the precedent criteria firstly we will break down this expression into a form like this we will put braces and we will convert the second condition using the and operator so we will get an expression like this now by using the values we will try to solve it p is greater than q means 7 is greater than 2 that is true so we will get the value true here and we will also solve this expression part uh, 2 is less than 9 yes it is also true so we get true and true that is true moving to the next evaluating the logical expressions like we have relational expressions we have logical expressions also point to be noted are precedence of the logical operator is lower than the arithmetic operator we have logical operators like or and not see we in this table earlier table we have already noticed that the precedence of the rela uh, relational operator is greater than those of the logical operators fine so if we find if we found uh, these operators somewhere in the expressions so will give them a better priority now but there is another point to be noted down is precedence of the logical operators among themselves is not and or and or fine so in in the precedence of the logical operators we have to give the topmost priority to this nor operator then to this and operator and then to this or operator and third point to note down is the output will always be in boolean format as we have read in uh, in relational we get output in terms of true false yes no zero one let us take an example here firstly we will solve all the bra brackets or parentheses we can say as we have noticed in the table so after solving this these brackets we will get value in terms of booleans see firstly i solved 5 is less than 10 true so it will be 1 then i will solve this bracket 10 is less than 5 no so it's false then i'll solve this bracket 3 is less than 18 this is true so we'll get 1 then 8 is less than 18 yes it is 1 then not is to be solved first after brackets we'll solve why brackets were solved because they were of higher priority now among all these see if, then we solve the relational operator firstly brackets were solved then we solve the relational operators now we'll come to the logical operators so now we know that not has the not has got the highest priority so we'll solve the first this will this part the so not one means zero not zero is one not one is zero so we'll get not one is zero fine so next priority is of and so we'll solve the and first then we'll go for or so if we'll consider this or here we have two parts now this one and this one so we'll solve one and zero and is just like your multiplication the so 1 and 0 will give you 0 1 or 1 and 0 again it will give you 0 so 0 
or 0 will give you 0 or is just like your addition. So, 0 plus 0 will give you 0, 0 is represented as false. So, all of our output will be false, fine. Now, next is your string expressions. If you want to solve the string expressions, we need to use two operators that one is your plus and other one is your multiplication. So, they are being used for two different purposes. Let us take two examples to make it more clear and this is your first string then we are using the first operator plus that is a con that will help you to concatenate two strings. So, whenever we are writing two strings with the help of this plus operator then we will get output the concatenation of these two strings that is and and then ok. So, next is your star operator we will combine using this star operator we will give a string here then we will use the star operator then we will combine we will write the num uh, number that is to be uh, for how much time it is to be replicated so and star 2 will give you this string twice and 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 you will get as output fine so here we complete our expressions now next topic is to be red is type casting so there are two types of type casting one is implicit type casting second is your ex explicit type casting implicit we have read earlier now we will study about the explicit type conversion or casting see it is a user defined type casting here the user will decide the type of conversion that is to be made for that we have the syntax firstly we'll write the data type then we'll write the expression for example if we have a as 3 which is of integer type b as 5.0 which is of float type then if we'll write int b int b that means we are trying to type cast a float type variable into an integer type variable so we'll get an output like b is equals to 5 why why it happened because we have type casted the floating type variable into an integer type variable i hope the concept is clear next we'll continue in our next lecture thank you